Hi, everyone. My name is Allison Wojtovich. Um, I'm super excited to be here today. I don't know if you guys noticed, but people kind of forgot to act because of lockdown. They just forgot how to socialize, you know? They don't even know how to properly type things out anymore. Like this guy on the internet asked me to send him nudes the other day. So I did, um, and he got really mad because they weren't of me. <laughs> be specific, you know? <laughs> Um, uh, something else about me is that uh, I am a theater kid. I do have a theater degree and the salary to prove it. <laughs> <laughs> theater school is interesting because they don't tell you this when you go sign up for it, but there's this thing called Real Talk Day. And it's when the professor sits you down and tells every person in front of the whole class what they look like so they know what parts to audition for. It's not a good time. <laughs> My professor sat us all down for Real Talk Day and he went through the room. He just goes, you, funny best friend, you, villain, Allison, young white female. <laughs> I'm sorry, I didn't know my professor could be replaced with a mirror. <laughs> I was so upset. I've known I'm a young white female my entire life. <laughs> The way my brother and I used to be able to tell if my mom and her friends were drinking would just be to stick our heads into whatever room they were hanging out with and unleash the cry of the white woman. We would just go, hey mom, woohoo! <laughs> and if they responded with the cry of the white woman, woohoo! <laughs> we stayed upstairs that night. <laughs> The crazy thing is, is that the cry of the white woman helps me make friends today. If you guys don't know how to make friends when you go out downtown, just try this. Whenever you are walking down Main Street or Sixth Street or whatever your downtown hotspot is, just unleash the cry of the white woman, woo! -hoo! And you'll get like six 45-year-old white ladies who will come bar hop with you all night. <laughs> They'll pay for your martinis. <laughs> They'll tell you you're pretty. <laughs> and they'll call you tomorrow to make sure you got home safe. <laughs> it's the best. <laughs> uh, I am in my 20s though, so sometimes I wanna hang out with girls closer to my age, but the fun thing is this still works on 25-year-old white girls. You just need to change your wording a little bit. Instead of woohoo, you gotta go, yes! <laughs> And you'll get six 25-year-old white girls to also bar hop with you. But instead of martinis, they will sneak their dollar shots onto your tab. <laughs> and then you never hear from them again. <laughs> They're sometimes more fun if you don't want to commit, you know? <laughs> Yeah, commitment is insane though. Like online dating has totally changed the game. I don't know if you guys have had to deal with it, but I hated dealing with online dating. Um, I even was a member of the Holy Trinity Church of Austin at one point. I don't know if you've heard of this, but it's a uh, Tinder, Bumble, Hinge. <laughs> They're all different dating platforms and they all hate them equally. Um, <laughs> they're not fun. I, I like to call them lions, tigers, and bears. Oh my, you know? it's. Not a good time. I, I, I don't know if you guys have heard of this thing called ghosting, but if you don't know what it is, it's when you talk to someone for like three weeks straight, you think things are going well, and then they pretend to die so they never have to talk to you again. <laughs> they just cut you off with no explanation, and then you're just like, all right, they're dead to me. Um, <laughs> It's not, it's not great, but what's worse is this thing called zombieing, and I didn't know it was real until it happened to me. Zombieing is when someone ghosts you, and then six to 12 months later, pops back up on your phone with no explanation again, <laughs> therefore coming back from the dead to haunt you, okay? <laughs> So I got zombied by this guy a few years back. I went on a Tinder date with him, and then 12 months to the day later, he matched with me on a different dating platform and tried to message me again. <laughs> and the problem is, I don't think he knows that our Tinder date was bad, but <laughs> I definitely know because we went to Chipotle. <laughs> he didn't let me get guacamole on my Chipotle, <laughs> which was weird because I was paying. <laughs> And then he uh, stormed out at the end of the date after a political comment that I made. I didn't realize anyone still cared about William Taft, but... <laughs> <laughs> Thank you guys so much. I'm Allison Voidovich. <laughs>